I'm an Australian guy living here in Belarus and today I want to discuss what Australian women are attracted to and what they want in a man versus what Belarusian women are attracted to and what they want in a man. Now do remember that you know Western countries have a pretty high overlap in terms of what's desired, right? And then Eastern European countries also have a pretty similar overlap. So when I'm saying Australia, I kind of mean Western Europe. When I'm talking about Belarus, I'm kind of talking about Eastern Europe as well. So more broadly, what are the things that women are attracted to? Because women are all attracted to the same things, but in different proportions. So if you look at, say, books, for example, uh, maybe in some countries, there's only like 1% importance. You know, other countries, there might be 50% importance. So it kind of depends where you are. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on today. And let's start with looks. And look, in Australia, looks are important. Looks matter for women. This is uh, pretty important. You don't see many attractive women with men who are not also attractive. In fact, you would almost never see a woman who's significantly more attractive than the guy that she is with. Yeah, you just don't see this. You see the other way around. You see tall, good-looking guys with uh, short, kind of podgy-looking girls. This is kind of normal. Well, not normal, but you see it enough. Uh, whereas you don't see it in the opposite direction. You don't see really attractive women with kind of ugly men. Very rare. Pretty much never, really. So for Australian women, uh, looks are really, really important. Yeah? They won't admit it. Of course, it sounds shallow and superficial and these things that we're taught to think. But in reality, this is what's happening, right? As an Australian guy, you need to be uh, on top of your... When I say looks, by the way, I mean everything. From things you can't control, such as your height, uh, to things you can control, such as your muscle tone, your... Uh, body fat percentage, your grooming, your hairstyle, your you know, clothes, whatever, right? So fortunately, uh, everybody can control this to a large extent anyway. Now here in Belarus, traditional wisdom tells us that, oh, Eastern European girls care more about money than looks, right? Well, look, there's some truth to that. Like definitely, if you were to say, you know, for Australian women, say 40% of what they want is based on looks. Just safe as a number. In Belarus, you might say, oh, it's 5% or something like this, right? Something smaller. Um, but realistically, that 5% is going up. Uh, younger girls, sub, say, 25, sub 30 maybe, uh, they care a lot more about looks than their parents' generation did. And you can see this just apart from observing and talking to people. You can also see this because a lot of the young guys are looking good here. They're competing, you know. The dad's generation didn't compete. This younger generation of guys um, around in inner city mints are competing. They're getting lots of tattoos, they're getting regular haircuts, they're getting uh, you know, different style clothes, etc. So there is, uh, looks do matter. And I think, to be honest, they matter a lot more than the average guy thinks uh, in, the, in the East. In fact, I'd go as far to say that you know, within just a few years, they'll probably have a similar weighting to what they do uh, in the West. So I think that time is not too far away, maybe a decade or two, but uh, uh, you know, the gap is closing there. So that's looks. So very important uh, in the West and somewhat important in the East, but growing in terms of its importance. And then we have money. And again, money matters everywhere, but it certainly matters more here in Belarus. If you have that fat IT paycheck, uh, then, or maybe you're linked to even logistics, or somehow can utilize English inside of an international company, then your income really stands out. Um, you may attract a certain kind of girl who really just values money only, because that's what you will get in Eastern Europe as opposed to Western Europe. You do get a small percentage of girls who all they care about is money. Um, that's one big difference. But in general, look, money matters here. Of course it does. Um, more so than in the West. That's definitely true. Is it the be-all and end-all? Not really. And would you want a girl who only sees you as money? And again, there's a certain archetype of girl here in Eastern Europe who is like that. And she is probably not the kind of girl you really want to get involved with in something kind of long-term, especially something involving uh, having a family. So that's um, money. Now, social status matters everywhere. Social status matters everywhere. I'm not sure about the proportions, to be honest. I think it's important everywhere. 
pretty evenly. Because social status, there's just a massive correlation with social status with everything else at the end of the day. And women want men who have a lot of value in the society. It's just a genetic impulse there. So I think social status is really important everywhere, to be fair, and um, significantly so. Although it might be slightly more important here in Belarus. I might just get away from the loud cars here. Maybe slightly more here in Belarus because of the correlation between social status and money. Now we have uh, charisma and social ability. Charisma and social ability. These are very important everywhere, but they're probably more important in the West. You need to be have a high social IQ, have that charm, charisma, uh, keep a girl in good emotions. Uh, this is important in the West for a guy. Women say this is important. Definitely less so in Belarus, although again, like the looks thing, it is growing in importance. This ability to be just charming and charismatic by nature. This is definitely, definitely growing in importance here in Belarus as well. Certainly not equal to what it is uh, in the West though. Then we have IQ. IQ I think is uh, important everywhere again. And as you notice, a lot of these things have, are highly correlated. So income, IQ and social status are probably quite highly correlated, right? Not perfectly so, but pretty highly so. Now I recognize that I'm going near this music, so I might just go back this way. Get away from that anti-monetization demon. So yeah, overall, look, I think the main differences are between what Australian women want and what Belarusian women want. I think overall, uh, they are merging together as we globalize or Americanize, whatever you want to call it. Um, the East becomes like the West. And there's certainly a big generational change going on here in Belarus, like there is everywhere. Uh, as the world becomes more and more American, more and more American values, ideas, ideals, and so forth. So overall, definitely looks matter more in the West, money matters more in the East, but the gap between the two is shrinking really, really rapidly. Thanks for listening today. If you enjoyed this video, do hit a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts, because I know a lot of guys who are Westerners living in the East watch me. I know a lot of guys living in the West who want to live in the East are watching me and I know a lot of the Eastern guys are also watching me and they may live uh, in the East and they may live in the West as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing about your experiences and your perspectives on this very interesting topic. And for now, I'll just keep walking down here. You can just see a little bit more of uh, Minsk here as I walk down towards the train station. If you need some help uh, understanding women here, I've been very active in the dating coaching space. I have a history of this in Melbourne and I've very much adapted all of these ideas and principles to life here in Belarus. And I'm currently working with three different guys, helping them to meet girls, helping them to understand the mindset here and what's kind of normal because what I notice that girls do, because let's, let's be honest, right? As a foreigner, you're not meeting normal girls for the most part, normal, common, everyday Belarusian girls. You're meeting the ones that can either speak some English uh, or are really open to foreigners who can't speak Russian, right? In, in terms of most guys that come here. Yeah? And so the reality is, is that um, many things can be brushed off as a cultural difference, but actually it's often not. It's actually uh, a bit of a smoke screen. So for example, uh, a girl might uh, be very manipulative, gold digger type, and this is only a very small proportion of girls in Belarus, very small proportion. But she might be like this, and she tells the guy, look, this is our culture. You have to come with a dozen flowers every time. This is the culture here, right? And he's like, oh, okay, that's the culture. But it's not the culture, it's her. <laughs> um, so you've got to be careful about this. So little traps like this, I can help you with, uh, have a bit of a chat with you, hang out with you a bit, and we can uh, uh, get you in the right direction. If you're a guy who wants to just come here at all and you don't know how to get here, just practical things like how to physically get here, what visa do you need, how do you get the visa? If you want to buy a property here, which several guys have contacted me about recently I can help you with this to make sure you get a reasonable price and actually a reasonable apartment um, and something that's going to be useful into the future as an investment not just as a way of getting a visa uh, I can also help you with this so go to my website marriedinmints.com and uh, we can uh, chat some more just book an appointment and we can chat about your needs and we can make your dreams become reality <laughs>